Asia Pop 40. Hello, I'm Joey, and yes, today we're gonna be speaking with an artist that's absolutely blowing up and going viral. It's Gail. Hello. Hello. Hi. So good to have you. So lovely to be here over the beautiful virtual internet. Obviously, today we're here to talk about the song A B C D E F U. Never heard of it. I know. What is this? <laughs> we uh, must have heard what six different versions of it by now, right? There's the original. There's the demo. The chill version. The acoustic version. Which I love. Oh, thank you. Of course, there's also the radio-friendly version, the nicer version, and there's the angrier version. I gotta be honest. Personally, I love the angrier version. Which one are you feeling at this moment right now? Honestly, the angrier version is probably one of my favorite versions. I like them all for like different reasons. I think that's also why I put out all those versions was because I literally could not pick one because they all like brought different things to the song. Um, but also, I'm honestly kind of a sucker for the demo, the acoustic version, just because like we wrote that song on guitar, like that's where it started. Um, so that's like the first song that we fell in love with, and then we built it out to what it is today. That makes sense. That's the first iteration of your baby, right? That's when that's the baby picture of your song, basically. Yes. You're never going to not love that. Yeah, that is literally like when it was born. Yeah. <laughs> right, so you recently took this song and all six of its versions on tour. Did you have a chance to kind of? Test out different versions to different crowds and see which one resonate better. That actually would have been really smart. I did not. I played the same version every time. <laughs> I played the angrier version actually. Well, it's actually it was its own little thing. I would say. I would say it's the live version. Yeah, it, it lights up the crowd a little bit. And to be honest, you gotta play the angrier version for a live crowd because everyone expects when those two words come in, they're going to shout at the top of their lungs with you, right? That's what the song is all about. Yes. No. It was.、Um, <laughs> Also, like later on during the tour, that's when the song just kind of started doing better on TikTok and all that. So more people like knew the song. So it's just great with the live version for everybody to scream it. Yeah,、um, <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun. Like all of our pent up frustration, be it from our past relationships or from whatever this pandemic has brought to us, it's just we need to say those two words sometimes. <laughs> yeah. For the tour, you went to the Big Apple. You went to New York City, which I don't think is your first time. I'm in New York City right now. Actually, you are there right now. Right now. I'm in my hotel is in Times Square. Oh my gosh! Okay, wait, wait. So if you look outside your window, are you able to see that 350 foot tall、uh, one Times Square LED screen?、Uh, no, I wish that would be sick.、Uh, wait. What is your view? I'm curious. Hold on, you're 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 in the way. Oh, sorry, my microphone is gonna like not fully. No, no, no! Please don't、uh, don't unplug that thing. You don't want to yank it out. If- oh no, I won't. I won't. Don't you worry. I'm not. The- That looks pretty good. Ooh, nice! Oh, you're looking straight at Times Square. Yeah, it's like all the buildings and stuff. What was going through your head that moment when you saw you and your song on that LED screen? It was crazy. What I love about it is like, it, of course, like I'm gonna take the picture of my faces on it. But yeah. But like, there's others people's faces that was that was on the billboard too. So go to Usher. <laughs> Good company. Yeah, 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 and then it'll go to Brad Pitt, and I don't know what it was, but it was some like alcohol that like it was, an, it was like an alcohol ad <laughs> to be like in the company of Usher and Brad Pitt drinking some sort of beverage. And I was like, yeah, this is what I need in my life. <laughs> exactly. So, but every time Usher would pop up, I'd be like, wait, it's Usher, it's Usher, and then I was like, wait. And then my photo pop up, and then I take the picture, and then I go to Brad Pitt, and so I just have a lot of photos next to Brad Pitt too. Well, you can't miss, right? I mean, how bad could it be to have multiple pictures of Usher or Brad? Exactly,、Pitt? exactly. I was, I was pretty, I was pretty happy, and I think it was also crazy was like seeing my song above it, like A B C D E F U Gale. I was like, oh my、For、god,、sure. that's me. Like that is me. I never like I've I've had um. Couple friends that's happened to where their like faces on a billboard,、um, and it's like crazy that it was like me.、Yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> like, huh? People care? <laughs> like, what? Well, that's what happens when you go viral. But I, here, I want to just paint a picture for people because I don't want you to think that Gail belongs to that generation of artists. 
who will get stuck into writing songs that are just visceral, spiteful, or vengeful because there was a song that came out a year ago called Z, and you almost went on like a social philosophical discourse with this one, where you talked about how we glorify our problems but we never solve them. We're just too busy acting like we know too much. Do you think that sort of depth is what you're about to explore with further projects? Especially with Z, it was more of like an outlook of my generation and just like the things that people are made, being made fun of, but also like the way we just act. Because I feel like sometimes like our generation, or my generation, is just running on fumes. You know, like there's just so much. I feel like at times like we don't trust like older generations, but then we also can barely trust like each other. I believe. This is the generation that is intended to break boundaries, right?、Yes. And for some reason, I really love it when women in music spell things out for me, like from Aretha Franklin, R E S P C T, to Amory, F R I E N D S, to Gail. You know, do I need to spell out the、yes. A B C for you of human relationship? I need to spell it out. <laughs> yeah, and I also think. Not even like Gen Z. I think what when Gen Z starts raising raising children, and then those children start raising children, I think it's just going to be pushing the boundaries of the way we as a society have just worked to never question things. And、um, I'm really excited to see the changes, and even in the next twenty to thirty years, just seeing the way the world is going to change. I think I think it's going to be something really beautiful. We hope your music will be there to accompany us to, you know, document these changes in musical forms. Try my best. How about let's okay, let's spend a minute or two to get to the ABCs of Gale. All right, we're gonna have some short questions. Yes. And yes. given that it's、okay. so late for you, you've done like what three hours straight of interviews. This one is gonna hopefully get you going a little bit. What are the three favorite things to do during Christmas since it's just around the corner? <laughs> oh no! What is this? <laughs> I have such a dark sense of humor. My parents got divorced on Christmas. Like literally, like they had the fight on Christmas, and so my first thing I was gonna say was like, cry about my parents' divorce. Oh my! Well, I mean, hey, that belongs to you and you only, right? So that's a good one. <laughs> no, around Christmas, I love making dad jokes. Hmm. Um. But like the like super. Up ones like the ones that are like my best friend. Her parents are still together and they're lovely. They're a great couple and they're like super happy. And、um, like if they ever like bicker or just something like,、yeah. but it's over like something stupid. Basically being like that egg isn't over easy. That's over medium. And then they start arguing over like married couple. <laughs> no, I know, I understand. And if they're fighting, I'll like go to Sarah and I'm like, it's beginning to look a lot like Chris. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. I love that. I love that dark humor. That's so. That's Sarah. Is that Sarah? That is Sarah. Sarah Davis. Okay, way to go, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So one last question.、Yes. What are the three presents? Since we're talking about it, three presents that you would hope either Santa, if we still believe in that,、uh, would bring to you during Christmas. Hundred percent real. Hundred percent. Um. Um, 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 a VH camera, because、mm. why not?、Okay. I love notebooks. I'm absolutely obsessed with notebooks, specifically college ruled notebooks.、Mm-hmm. Great. And、um, I used to have a Waffle House phone case, but then my phone broke, and I had to get a new phone, so I got a bigger phone. And the Waffle House, like it was a Waffle House menu、mm-hmm. phone case. It's like this breakfast. Fast food place, and it's amazing. And I would want a Waffle House phone case that would fit my phone. Okay, so that's the three things for your family or friends to buy for you during Christmas, or、exactly. even your fans. Hint, hint. Now, what we expect from you in return, Gail, is、uh, hopefully more musical work during or after Christmas. Can you do that for us? Oh, after Christmas, I got you. Awesome! I、Sounds、got、amazing. you. And we'll keep on listening to A B C D E F U along the way. Thank you, Gail, for joining us here today. Thank you. I appreciate you very much. A- A- Asia Pop Forty.